That crash is eerily similar to a deadly crash just last week. And tonight, rage is bubbling over against this woman. She is accused of intentionally hitting and running over this motorcyclist here, a chief petty officer for the Navy. And people have even taken to this Facebook page to voice their anger with Darla Jackson. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live off of the 54. And Emily, you spoke with a friend of Jackson's who thinks that this was an accident. Yeah, a friend of hers tells me that people who are taking to this particular Facebook page to vent about Darla Jackson have it all wrong. Someone created this Facebook page for road rage murder suspect Darla Jackson of Chula Vista. It's called Darla Renee Jackson Loves Motorcycles, but here there's anything but love for Darla. More than a thousand people have liked it just hours after a judge set her bail at $1 million. She's charged with first degree murder for running over motorcyclist Jack Bube on the 54th Thursday. Her mother says it was just an accident. Here, the page creator is asking, Do you know Darla? We'd like to learn more about her. Post your experience images. And boy, are they. Most posts filled with comments so vulgar we can't repeat them on TV. Um, I've known Darla since she was a teenager. Um, a very good, loyal friend to me. I don't think it's fair that everybody's portraying her to be a bad person. I spoke with a friend of Darla's who will call V. I wish not to reveal my identity just because of the constant backlash and hate towards her. People posted these photos of Darla along with unconfirmed stories of a bully with rage issues. But it's the internet and people can say anything. However, court records show two of Darla's ex-boyfriends got restraining orders against her. I've known her for a really, really long time and she's never done anything like that nor, show, nor showed any anger like that towards me or my family. And we can't find any sign of the roadside memorial here on the 94, so it appears Caltrans has removed it. I did reach out to Darla Jackson in jail, but she declined our request for an interview. I'm live in National City, Emily Valdez, 10 News.